so let's kick off this video and this whole build up to Alp Duez and well just generally riding in the Alps with the Haute Route and the Marmot with a classic video taking you through my day of trailing. Um, I've got water that I'm trying to get down me that I do first thing in the morning. I only fill it half full because it encourages me to drink that before I try and do anything else. Um, for breakfast, I'm having a fairly large bowl of cereal. Um, about 100 grams of carbs are going to be consumed. And then I'm going to head out uh, and train about two, two and a half hours after consuming that. Enough time for two cups of coffee. Now today's session is actually the first one in a long line of the structured sessions I'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. Um, which I think, which if you saw the last video where I talk about how I'm planning on training and preparing for the events, then you'll have a pretty good idea as to what's coming over the next couple of weeks. So over the last 10 years of training, I've realized that you can you can maintain to a certain extent a good level of fitness all the way through the year, all the way through the season, but you can't maintain form. I always think of them as the times when I want to achieve peak form is when I'm looking after myself the best. Like I dial in my training for like four to six weeks. Uh, I dial in my sleep. I dial in my... Uh, my nutrition and I learn to just focus for a short period of time to 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 get to that place of of really good form and know that it is only six weeks of good work away it's not a million miles away because you're always floating at, at a good fitness level Well, that was a mega leg day. I didn't, uh, I didn't vlog during it because I, well, there was like very little, like sort of in between. It was basically full of intervals, so it was, it was very difficult to, I guess, talk and ride hard at the same time. So yeah, the session went absolutely brilliantly. It was three hours of like, I guess you could call them sub-threshold work uh, for the most part anyway. Like, I started off the ride with a 10 minute warm up and then it's quite difficult around here trying to sort of do a ride where you're constantly doing intervals and efforts because of traffic and, you know, villages and all this sort of stuff and obviously descents as well because although we've got climbs here the descents are like usually like really narrow so I tried to pick a route as best as I could which was flat-ish but I still ended up climbing 1900 meters in three hours um, so I did two 40 minute blocks at about 320 watts um, but but the 40 minute blocks were formulated in a way where I'd be riding 4 minutes at 320 watts and 1 minute at, well, it didn't really matter what I was riding the 1 minute at as long as it was hard um, so or harder. So, you know, people often get bogged down in like, oh, you know, do I ride at 105% of FTP or 103% or, you know, 
I gotta be honest, like it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like the best way to think about it is you're producing lactate anyway, you're clearing it because you're riding at this effort already. And then for that one minute effort, you're just producing more lactate. You're not trying to like overload your system, you're just trying to produce a little bit more so that when you come back down, you've created more and now you're clearing that again, as well as you know, riding at that, you know, for me 320 watts. So it's not overly sort of sophisticated or complicated, it's just you know, just riding um, within yourself still. So once I got those two 40 minute blocks done with five minutes of rest between, I went into a 15 minute recovery and then I went into two by 20 minutes with 10 minutes rest in between those of like basically like declining threshold. So riding at threshold for 10 minutes and I'm riding basically at 320 watts again for the next 10 minutes. Um, but the last 20 minute block, I just went sort of, well, you know, let's just see what we can hold on to. So I did the 10 minute block as I was supposed to around threshold and then I just tried to hold it for the next 10 minutes and yeah, I could. Um, there was not really any issues with that. Not that I thought there would be, but it was just nice to do that at the end of like three hours. I think Tuesday is going to be like my like event simulation day, I suppose. Um, we're starting small with a three hour ride with these efforts uh, and we'll do one next Tuesday and then the following Tuesday. So we'll get three of them in before the whole route and the Alps. And then I'll, I'll just take tomorrow as a steady endurance day. Um, I'm not really bothered about doing too much volume over the next couple of weeks because I've got to be honest, like that's probably not my limiting factor at the minute. Uh, my limiting factor will be if I can produce um, numbers, good numbers, after, you know, X amount of riding, X amount of energy burnt and, uh, and all that sort of good stuff. So today was a good little benchmark because I didn't really know what to expect. I had absolutely crazy good legs, but I also didn't want to like, you know, push too hard. So the last 20 minute effort after about two and a half thousand kgs was uh, was close to six watts per kilo for 20 minutes. So, you know, it's not too shabby. <laughs> but I've obviously got to try and push myself now over the next couple of weeks. In terms of nutrition, I ate two bars in the first two hours, which totaled about 30 grams per bar, but I also drank two 750 ml bottles of Sturka 90 grams of carbs each so there's a good there's a good like good dose of carbohydrate there and I feel I feel great now so it's more a case of making sure I do this like every time um, to keep myself familiar with consuming it but I think you know the, the difference is there's not there's no heat today whereas down in south of France there's chances are there is going to be heat but, you know, I've got to try and do my best with what I've got here. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here because I've got lots of stuff to do. Um, I wish I could make it more vloggy and stuff. But, yeah, it's, it's always busy at the end of the month for me. So, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you in the next video.